Hey there creatives and welcome to today's video. So with this past weekend being Mother's Day and National Scrapbook Day, I thought it would be fun to continue my series on I have prints, now what? Um, with a little scrapbook layout celebrating my um, marriage to my husband, which we will celebrate 20 years in just a few weeks. So I thought it would be fun to um, go back to how this all started and do a little scrapbook layout for you guys using some gel press prints. So let's head over to our creative table and see what we can make. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started on our project today. So I'm just gathering my materials. These are the strips that I cut from my gel printed prints that I already had on hand. I cut them into half an inch, three quarter inch, and one inch strips. I also picked out a few colors that were kind of already represented in these particular prints. I believe all these prints were actually done with alcohol ink, but now I'm just using some acrylic because I want to just build a little bit of a background so I don't have just a stark white background. This is a stencil from Carabelle, so I'm just using some acrylic paint to just really just kind of fill in the white space a little bit. It's not going to be anything fancy. We're not going for a bunch of layers because we really want those gel press prints to kind of be the star. That and the fabulous picture of me and my husband on our wedding day. So I'm just using this color and it is from Deco Art called Vivid Violet. And then this is a stencil that's actually from my line, and you can find that in my Etsy shop. I'll put that below. And I'm using a folk art teal. And I really just want to choose those words that kind of go along with the idea of a wedding day. So love and faith and begin and life and all of those kind of things. I kind of just wanted to um, fill in the background with a little bit of that. And that teal color kind of brings up some of the blues that are already in my gel press prints that I'm going to be using in this one. I'm also adding just a little bit of blue to kind of push that pink bubbles kind of into the background a little bit. And you're going to see I'm going to cover some of those up because I didn't really go into this with a big plan. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, now I'm just using a yellow called Moon Yellow. And I'm really doing that again just to fill in that white space, just kind of dry brushing so it stays a little rustic and stays a little uh, um, not fully covered. So now comes the fun part and the difficult part, deciding what order to put my little strips in and what sizes to use. And I'm really just trying to build a background, almost build kind of a bed that my picture is going to sit on. So I'm just kind of pilfering through my strips here and just making sure that I don't accidentally put two greens together, that I'm kind of filling in the space um, and cutting them so it kind of isn't like a big block. It almost ends up being more of an organic shape. So you see I'm kind of, I'll test them out, um, do a little trim with my child scissors because I can't find any of my good scissors. Tell me I'm not the only one who loses their good scissors on like a weekly basis. Um, leave it in the comments if I'm not alone. That would be great. Um, so um, you can see the colors that I chose to just fill in that background a little bit. Really pick up those pinks and blues. Um, and I realize I'm doing this off screen, so I apologize. So I'm actually, there we go. I'm taking just a glue stick and just adhering just the top of my little strips because I want to leave, give them kind of an anchor point, but I want to leave the rest of it available for me to kind of weave my other ones. So I have these going vertically um, and I want my other ones to go horizontally but I want to be able to give them almost a basket weave kind of texture um, and so you can see that I'm just applying it to the top just a little bit and I know I know every scrapbooker out there is losing their mind that I'm not using some kind of archival safe uh, <laughs> It, uh, adhesive for this so I will apologize in advance I couldn't find it um, and you can see all I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply 
or use my next ones that are going horizontal and just weave them in and out. And since the, the top is just anchored, I can kind of just move and you can see just up over one under the other and just kind of continue and kind of push it up so it kind of butts up against my other one and then just tack those little ends down. I'm not super concerned with the middle being done because it's kind of doesn't need to be glued down because it's kind of not really necessary. So you can see I'm just having fun and again doing that um, putting different patterns next to each other in different sizes and um, this is super fun and this is a great way to use up if you have maybe some leftover prints maybe not full prints if you have enough to make a little strip out of it's a super fun way that you can make a background for your art journal a really pretty card um, a scrapbook layout like this it's just a really great way to use prints that you already have, which is kind of the whole purpose of me doing this kind of, I guess, series. I don't know if it's a series, but it's kind of what I've been doing right now. <laughs> so you can see I'm just continuing that kind of basket weave. Oh, you can see I messed one up there. I had to flip it and put it the right way. And it's kind of fun and therapeutic to be kind of do that over, under, over, under kind of thing and just tacking those ends down. And you can, you're going to see, I'll put like one more strip in. Um, and then I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom because I really didn't think it was necessary. But I love how like all my colors are mixing, but they're still, you can tell their stripes. And I just love this whole basket weave. What's funny, and I'm actually thinking about this just as I'm doing this, our cake at our wedding actually had a basket weave texture on the outside because we just had a really simple outdoor, that's us, a little simple outdoor back door, or backyard wedding. So um, that just made me think, realize I kind of incorporated our wedding cake into it a little bit. So I'm just taking another piece of white cardstock um, and cutting it down. I kind of cut it too big the first time. So this is a four by six picture. So I'm actually cutting it down now to four and a quarter by six and a quarter, just to give it a little bit of a mat and a little bit of a pop off of all these bright colors. After I looked at it, I was like, you know, I probably could have done it without the mat and then been able to show a little bit more of my gel press prints and gel press colors but it's already on there so that's what we're gonna do um, and I want to incorporate a little bit of shimmer um, and so I've actually grabbed the crafters workshop stencil butter in pearl white and this is mainly just to kind of um, give some cohesion so the so my basket weave texture my background kind of all fits together so it doesn't look like it's just kind of hovering on top of each other and it adds a little bit of shimmer and it adds a little bit of whimsy because it adds almost like champagne bubbly kind of feel to it now I kind of felt like though everything was kind of smushed in the middle so I grabbed a few other strips and I'm just going to play putting them in the corner just to kind of fill in that little bit because that corner felt really kind of naky. So we're just filling that in with some little strips and again just gluing them down and then just trimming them back with my scissors. And I'm going to do the same thing over on the other corner as well. Oh I got that a little bit out of frame. Sorry guys. And I'm going to do that over on the other corner too. Again, just to kind of give some balance. Because again, if you've ever, you know, heard about decorating and scrapbooking and art in general, odd numbers are great. It allows the eye to rest on what your central focal point is. So I wanted to make sure I had color in each corner that way at the corner. And then I had the stuff in the middle. And just to kind of bring out those lines a little bit, I'm just making some scratchy little lines with my micron pin along my my lines and on my circles. And um, it kind of brings in because the picture is so dark because there's so much dark green and his tux is black. And um, it just brings a little bit more of the black into the entire layout instead of just the only black being in the picture. And so, and if you know me at all, everything's better with a little bit of scribble. And this color palette is totally my wheelhouse, you know, hot pink, teal, and yellow. Can you get any better than that? So we are just about done. I obviously added the date of when we got married. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I can't wait to see how you use your prints in a new way. Have a great day, guys. Mm -hmm.